Alex. Welcome back to uh, another episode. Pulling uh, away from the ramp right now on the Fishaholic rig. It's uh, a little after 7 a.m. and uh, we're gonna head out to the ocean today and uh, just see what we can catch. I'm hoping to uh, first off catch uh, some really good bait and uh, and if we're really lucky maybe see if we have a chance at uh, catching a sailfish. But uh, if not a sail, then you know, I'll be willing to catch whatever is willing to bite and we're just gonna make a day of it. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go uh, head to a spot where we can possibly catch some bait and I will see you guys there. any bait here and uh, I got a new um, eight foot quarter inch uh, whole uh, cast net which I'm excited to put to the test and see uh, if it helps us uh, catch more bait and also uh, have less bait just get like stuck in the net and die in the net and also I got something else cool to show you We've got some new uh, skins here from Tide Chasers huge shout out to them for uh, sponsoring today's video and hooking me up uh, with this nice jacket, which I'm gonna wear so we don't get uh, my shirt soaked or dirty while we're throwing the cast net. And also, uh, they hooked me up with uh, these really sweet bibs here, which uh, right now it's a little hot to have the bibs on, but uh, if we run into some nasty Florida rainy weather, which is you know always a, uh, a slight chance to um, run into some weather like that uh, on the water, especially in Florida, then you know we'll put all the gear on and stay nice and dry. And also uh, check out uh, this waterproof yet breathable uh, Tide Chasers uh, snapback hat. It's pretty sweet. And if you guys want to uh, check them out, just click the link in the description and uh, use my code at checkout to uh, save 15%. Now let's uh, see if we can get some bait here. Got a lot of bait. Woo! Look at all that bait right there. I think we're in business to catch some fish today. All right, well that is what we call a one and done. And uh, check out all the bait I got in the well. This is what happens when you have the right tool for the job in hand. And I think I only got one bait stuck in the net. Let's uh, head out to the ocean. Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm headed or how far I'm heading out at first. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna take a look at the map and uh, kind of come up with a plan as I'm heading out. Uh, and uh, once I see like what the sea conditions are like, it says that it's supposed to be pretty nice today uh, on the ocean, but uh, the last time I was out, uh, it wasn't so nice. Uh, it was really rough, so we, we shall see. And I will see you guys out there. I made it to our first spot uh, that we're gonna try and I've never been here before I just want to uh, try it that's what uh, fishing is all about and also check out uh, the new toy I got here this is uh, the Lowrance uh, Elite FS9 and it was on sale at Bass Pro from like 1300 to down to like 999.99 so I figured uh, 
we might as well upgrade and uh i'm gonna start off my drift with uh i think two live baits on a flat line and i'm gonna bump the boat in and out of gear and uh kind of drift along and hopefully we put our baits in front of something decent Oh, I like the look of that one. All right, I'm gonna set this first bait out maybe like 50, 60 yards. I'm basically starting in like 100 feet and uh, we're gonna drift up this edge where it comes up uh, to like 70 and uh, then it goes up to like 60 around a bunch of reefs that are a little bit shallower and I'm hoping there'll be a lot of stuff on the edge or on top of the reefs. All right, I think that should be good. Let's put the clicker on. So if we get a bite, that'll rip out. And if it's a big fish, it'll really rip out. So we'll know. And now let's set up this rod on our starboard side. All right, got uh, two baits set. And now what I wanna do is I wanna send out this contraption, which is basically just a giant teaser, and this is a dredge. So I'm gonna put this uh, out the back real close to uh, the transom, and uh, hopefully that'll attract some fish to the boat. <laughs> Well, now we're fishing, and uh, it's kind of just like a waiting game to see uh, what eats the bait. And uh, hopefully we go over something decent. And uh, we'll give this like an hour or two. And uh, you know, I drove about 10 miles uh, southeast of uh, St. Lucie Inlet, and now we're drifting kind of northwest. And uh, if this doesn't pan out, then uh, I've also got the trolling gear on board so we can uh, do some trolling. And I'm thinking maybe troll to the north and towards uh, some reef area uh, that uh, could have some muttons on them. There's a fish. Wow, there's something good here. Something good. I don't know what we have here. It ripped out a ton of line. Oh wow, got another fish on on this side. I'm gonna put the boat in gear. So we hook this fish on the starboard side. Doubled up, baby! Woo! Oh, real big uh, Benita. I feel like he just realized he's hooked. Probably got a bonita on this uh, blue rod too.
look at that fat butter bowl right there circle hook right in the corner of the mouth down she goes let's reel in this one now this fish has probably just been hanging on the hook <laughs> wondering what the heck is going on oh man i'm gonna be tired in the end of the day if we catch like five or ten of these things But uh, still really fun, better than catching nothing. So we got the skunk <laughs> out of the way, let's get him back. All right, let's get another bait out there real quick. By the way, the uh, rods that I'm using today for flatlining are the uh, Dark Matter psychedelic casting rods from uh, j &H Tackle. And I've got them paired with uh, two uh, Avid MXLs. Oh man, another double. Dang, dude. Probably another pair of Bonita. This is a real tiny one though. Nice like marlin bait size. Let's see if this one is still on. Another real tiny one. Fish on. Another decent size Bonita. The circle hooks are really working well today. Every single fish, the hook is just right in the corner of the mouth. All right, well. I'm gonna try switching things up now and uh, I'm gonna tie on just a little snap swivel and I think uh, we should try trolling for a little bit. Check out this pretty cool daisy chain that I made up. I made it uh, out of some Savage Gear squids Well, we're trolling now and uh, I thought I was recording when I was going over my spread and sending it out there But uh, the camera overheated and turned off quietly. So uh, I wasn't uh, And uh, we sent out the squid daisy chain on the blue psychedelic this rod here I sent out a big soft chug uh, straight back down the middle and on the silver psychedelic uh, We have another soft chug, but uh, just a smaller one and uh, on this rod here that we were using with uh, the drail when we were drifting uh, I also have another uh, teaser out there, which uh, is just a big uh, flying fish spreader bar, and uh, there's no hook on it, so I'm hoping that that'll just, you know, ra raise some fish, and then they'll see the smaller stuff, and then they'll eat that. So we uh, have a, a three rod spread out, which is kind of the, the best you can do on a, on a boat like mine. And uh, we'll probably give this like an hour and see what happens. We'll just fish and keep on fishing, and then after that, go fishing for 
some mutton, I guess, uh, you know, once we probably come up empty on this, or I'm expecting maybe to catch a, a bonita again, if anything, but uh, who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and, you know, a mahi will jump on, or we'll get a, a sailfish uh, to come up uh, in the spread. And I also have this rod rigged up with uh, just a hook, so just in case if we do spot a sailfish that comes up in the spread but doesn't hit the lures, then we could pitch uh, a live bait at him and maybe he'll eat that. But uh, yeah, let's uh, we'll just put the time in and see what happens. Fish on! <sighs> Something on the little soft chug. Probably a little bonita. Oh, it's something different. Oh, I think we got a mackerel. There we go. I think this is uh, a king too. My first ever kingfish. Spanish mackerel have bright yellow dots and uh, I believe this is a keeper. They have to be 24 inches to the fork. Oh yeah, 25 inches to the fork. We got a keeper king. Heck yeah. All right, so this right here is basically the little soft chug that that king mackerel ate let's uh get it back out there and back on the troll and see if we can get another more fish that way. set up it's got a real long leader on it that's why I have this uh, spool attached to it this is uh, 25 to like 20 feet of 40 pound fluorocarbon and I've got a three ounce egg sinker all the way up to my barrel swivel that's attached to my braid. Let's grab a juicy dead bait. We got a lot to choose from in here. Oh, look at that one. That'll catch us a nice snapper. All right, just hit bottom. So I'm gonna take a couple turns up and then put it back in free spool and wait for a bite and once we get a hard thump then i'm gonna feed him a little extra line to let him eat the bait without feeling tension and then put it back in gear and 
come tight on them and hopefully penetrate the hook and reel up a nice snapper. Oh, I just got eight. I'm gonna see if he's still there. Oh yeah, he's still there. Fish on. Oh yeah, it's a nice yellow tail. Ooh yeah, look at that. That's some good eats right there. They just gotta be 12 inches to keep and this guy is touching 20, so it's a keeper. another fish that ate the bait but I didn't even feel a bite I just feel dead weight right now I'm gonna come tight on him there he is oh pulling real good right now this might be a mutton oh don't get eaten please don't get eaten oh yeah this has got to be a mutton. There he is. Beautiful. This one might be a keeper. It's going to be close. Oh yeah, 18 and a half. We got a keeper. Oh, just got eight. Something good. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah. Might have another keeper mutton here or keeper yellowtail. There we go. Another yellowtail. So I'm really running low on ice. So I'm probably gonna do like two or three more drops and then uh, I think head back towards the launch. But uh, I still have, I believe like a couple dozen, yeah, a couple dozen like live greenies. So I might try for snook at one or two spots with uh, the last little bit of live bait that I have. But let's drop down one or two more times with the dead bait and see if we can get another mutton maybe oh good fish oh yeah there was a big grouper chasing him up you can see the grouper right here and i thought it was a mutton but it's actually a big yellowtail. Look at the size of that yellowtail, man. That is a chunky one. Definitely one of my uh, favorite snappers to eat. I think I, I like them even more than uh, mutton. All right, let's try and see if we can get one more fish then head out of here. This bite is uh, pretty hot right now. They're loving these little dead baits. Oh, just got eight. Feels pretty heavy. There he is. Oh, that's gotta be a big mutton. 
Oh yeah. Jumbo mutton here. Oh, I just hope it doesn't get eaten. Come on. Come on up. Oh. This has got to be a nice mutt in here. Oh, nice. I actually thought he was going to be a little bit bigger, but uh, that's a good quality keeper. Nice 21 incher. I think that's about a wrap for the ocean today. Uh, the boat's a mess, I'm a mess. We've got a really nice mess of fish, but unfortunately only this much ice. So I think we gotta head back to the launch and uh, dice these guys up and bag them up and bring them on home quick before they spoil. And uh, I guess we'll have to come out here again to hopefully try and catch a uh, sailfish. And uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and that little bell button to, uh, so you know when I post future uploads. And until the next vid, live a fish, fish to live.